headed down towards Surmac to Nine Bar for the first time, getting a pair of sandwiches, pork for this guy, chicken for this guy, pumped your hair, pumped for this restaurant. All right guys, and we also wanted to do a shout out for Mr. Eric Nelson. He is signed up for five, must be just making up his own tears, man. Five bucks a do month you. is given to us. That's a gentleman's <laughs> move. So we appreciate that. We don't really have any perks for that. Uh, we do make all our videos available early. It's technically to the time, but I, we usually throw them up there for Yeah, everybody. and they're also, so. his name would then be in the names below the video. That's like, right, so that's right. It's also nice. You're in all of our content. You're in all of our content, bud. So thank you for doing that. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Let's get to the food. All right, you guys, a pair of sandwiches from Nine Bar in Chinatown acquired today. Jump cut. All right, Sixers on the dash. That's you. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's show you what we got. Okay, okay, okay. All right, nice, but oh, yeah, it's definitely chicken. Open it up. So, what do we got on here? This is grilled ginger, lemongrass, chicken thigh, green papaya slaw, spicy mayo, all in a brioche bun. Dude, this is the chicken sandwich. I, I read it on a list. That chicken looks so well cooked. Yes, oh it my does. God, I'm such a sucker for chicken thigh. All right, guys, I got the McKatsu. Mine is fried pork, American cheese, pickled radish, lettuce, bulldog sauce, which is a great name, Chinese hot mustard, and a sesame seed bun, as you can say, see right there with Corey lighting it. Uh, both of these sandwich, $14 each. All right, nine bar, pair of fried sandies. Cheers. Cheers. Bro. <laughs> Really good. So perfectly breaded mm. and tender, and that bulldog sauce is like a sweet, mm. kind of glazy sauce. Wow. That chicken sandwich is great too. Mm. So unique. I love Chinatown. I know, right? So modern. Like, you can do the old school stuff, and mm. the fact that you can get something like this just down the way is like so fun. Dude, this is a really good chicken sandwich. It looks so great. Mm. Look at that. Look how tender that pork is. Oh, that looks great. Wow. Solid pick. This tastes like, mm. like the chicken they use in Chinese food. I got so into tenderized fried breaded pork the last couple years. Mm -hmm. I like didn't know that was a thing. And now I'm just so obsessed with it. It's fantastic. I had, when I was in Oregon, I was in like Portland, there was like a pork tonkatsu like breakfast sandwich place I went to. Like I've had it in so many different iterations. It's always great. This is instantly one of my favorite chicken sandwiches I've had. This is by far one of my favorite pork sandwiches I've ever had. This is so good. It's got hot mustard on it and it's got just the right amount of kick. Crazy place too. You walk into the like regular dining facility and it's kind of like a, looks like a quick order Chinese food place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's no real signage. I had to ask the lady, nine bar back here? She's like, yeah, yeah. And there's just some random door you go through, and then it's this amazing bar in there. Okay, oh, damn, that's sick. Yeah, it's supposed to have solid cocktails. Like, that's really how it's marketed, too. Some real finds down mm. here in Chinatown. Wow. I just got a huge, like, pickle. It's fantastic. It's, like, very lightly pickled, so it's really crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is one of the more unique chicken sandwiches yeah. for sure. This is another reason why this show is so fun is like being able to come down here and do this and highlight this place and like what you saw this on a list, right? Yeah, yeah. And being able to do this, like this is awesome. Otherwise, like I just wouldn't ever have this place probably, you know? Yeah, I don't know when I would have ever found this. The only way you'd know is if you had a friend who lived in this area was like, oh, I got a spot. Yeah, it has to be like recommended, which it basically was for us just by a stranger. Mm -hmm. So her list can be really great. Oh my God, so this is one of my favorite sandwiches I've had this year. Damn. Dude, I just can't get over how crispy it is. Small menu at Nine Bar. I always like. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the, the, here's the things we do well. Shut up and order one of these. Asian food really loves doing the like, they always use a sweet sauce on mm -hmm. a sandwich. In America, things are so salty and so savory. In Asian food, traditionally, like there's always some sweet component. And this is a really good balance. Sometimes I like the flavor of the non-bread, but still fried. Mm -hmm. Truly one of the most unique soft combinations I've ever had in a sandwich. A little messy, but worth it. Totally worth it. A little bit of mess, I'll take it. Wow, what a crazy sandwich. Holy smokes. I slammed through that. Sometimes yeah. like the chicken, I don't know if this is a thigh thing, but you go to bite into it and it's hard to get like a salad, like mm -hmm. a lot of it was pulling out with the sandwich. So mm -hmm. it makes me eat it faster because big chunks are coming out. It does, it's huge. It really was like four big pieces of thigh. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't one big patty. Yeah, they have quite the menu. They have, one of their apps is smashed cucumbers and then like maple hot fries. Their fries 
looked unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a must try place, truly. I would love to try more of this menu. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen's open till 11.30, and the one thing we kind of found out, Corey found out is, you can't order off like an app or call it in, you have to order it there. So either eat there or pick it up and be prepared to wait like 10, 15 minutes. Yep. But I mean, you weren't in there too long, no, all, all things bad. considering. No. I wanna try to make a pork patty like this at home. I've never done. Oh, you could do that. I know. You I've never, because I do it so much with chicken, like I should just do it with pork. Like, do you buy a pork chop, I'm assuming? That's a damn good question. Stay till the end of this video, we're gonna open up a package. That's right, guys. That like kept my tongue guessing. Like even right now, I'm like, those are not flavors that I'm used to having. There was a lot going on there. Yeah. Like, wow. All right. I'm the show we rate out of five comparing that to other local sandwiches but first last little breakdown go for it um it was super unique flavor i love the thigh i love that it was pan fried still i had some really good crispy edges and then all the other random flavors that they got thrown in there you guys heard me uh read off the ingredient list it was it was awesome they all came together and played together and it was really good that was truly one of the most unique incredibly put together sandwiches i've ever had it was like crispy and sweet and spicy and like there was still like a creamy element to it with everything going on. There was crunch from like the pickles or the radish, those radishes, whatever. Like that <laughs> rattled me. Like it blew my. It was very good. I'm really excited to rate this thing. Um, Alex Trebek from Heaven, crank that. Thank you. All right. All right. Cut off the music. Quick one today. On the count of three, Corey, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Cut it down. Mine was kind of a pain in the ass to eat. That was my <laughs> yeah, I know. Kind of. That was what I thought with yours. Like, other than that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it all pulls off. Um, that to me, that's a must get. If you like pork, get that. All right, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then a quick question for you, so we can hang out down in the comments section. Out of everything in the Chinese food menu book. What's your favorite thing? Love to hear it. Let us know. We'll let you know ours down in the comment section too. Stick around after the bumper. We got the goose. This is the part of the show where we open up packages from fans, sometimes brands, and sometimes, damn it, the brands are fans and the fans are brands. So we'll see what we got here today. Use the pen maybe though. Things can be two things. Stuff can be two things. Mm, there we go. Damn it. Hey, hey, oh, oh, here we go. What is this? Hey! Oh, ham shirt! <laughs> ham shirt. <laughs> That's not what I expected to open. Where is the... Is there like a little... Oh, there you go. I know you're a hams beer fan like my loving alcoholic dad. He's a functioning one, so it's all good. <laughs> so we decided to send you a shirt. Enjoy from Keisha. <laughs> Bro, that is so awesome. That's so good, dude. Oh, my God. What oh, size is it? It's extra large. It must be for you. <laughs> These titties be growing. Keisha, thank you so much for sending this to the show. It means the world. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks again for being here. Bye.